The Toyota Classic has begun, and the host, Scott County, was in for a tough game tonight against Lafayette. Bar Paris and Bryan Station came into their matchup with a combined record of 25-6. and six. One team would get a big win. And Michelle Cecil, she was honored by Dunbar tonight for her career accomplishment. We'll tell you about that as LEX 18 High School Sports Zone starts right now. Good evening and welcome to the award-winning LEX 18 High School Sports Zone with my partner Alan Cutler. I'm Keith Farmer. I can't imagine as long as Billy Hicks is coaching that Scott County won't be a team in January where we're going to be saying, hey, they got a chance to get back to the Sweet 16. No doubt. 37 years he's been coaching. Uh, he's what, about the same age as you, Alan. But he's aged better. <laughs> yeah, well, sure. He's not that far away from a thousand wins. You could have disagreed. Thanks, pal. From a thousand wins, and I can see him coaching for a long time. Our Charlie Walter covered the legend from Scott County tonight. Hey guys, you got to give Lafayette some love too. They've been playing some good ball. They're twelve and four right now. Scott County at sixteen and one on the season. The winner punches their ticket to the championship tomorrow. I know you guys are a fan of some hustle. Look at Michael Moreno, the save ahead to Cooper Robb, who uses the little Euro step and floats it in. Not a bad day for Robb. How about 30 points? Lafayette hanging tough in the first half. A bucket here from Eric Powell. Strong take. He had 16. Then it's Cameron King off the window. He led the Generals with 18. Just a one-point game at halftime, but too many weapons for the cards. Michael Moreno tickles the twine. Scott County. Improves to 17 and 1. They win at 75 to 68. Also in the Toyota Classic, the 16 and 2 ladies of Scott County. They went up against Perry Central. Look at the pass from Braley McMath to Malaya Williams, and then some more unselfish basketball. The extra ball movement. Peyton Riddle. Riddle me that. She knocks down the deep one. Scott County led by as many as 30. They win 80 to 61. Yeah, how about that? Coming off a loss to LCA after winning eight straight. They're 11 and 2 and tough Mercer. A little ball movement. Drakeford knocks down the three. And then look at the Colts. Check them out. Step wide open off the inbounds. He will take it, but it's not enough. Patience time. Ty Devine puts it up. Mercer wins. They're having another good year. 80 73. Keith? Thank you for taking that. Tommy Johnson has Brian Station undefeated this year when playing teams from Kentucky. Overall, 15 and 1. Paris, led by Coach Terrence Brooks, 11 and 4. Let's go to fourth quarter action. It's the Greyhounds. Eric Johnson off the dribble. Nice looking shot. Had 19. And then in transition for Bryan Station, Kendrick Curry has all day to make sure the bunny goes in. And look at the handles from Keaton Simpson. Razzle dazzle to the bucket off the window. Sweet looking take there as Bryan Station wins it 68 47. Tates Creek shooting for its fifth win, and Frederick Douglass trying to get to 9-7. and seven, Down 21 at the half. Tates Creek starts knocking down threes. Michaela Coffey hits from one corner, then moves to the next. Same result. Commodores got the lead down to 9 in the third quarter. Broncos would come up with the steal. Trenton Gun Grundy has the spectacular finish here. Frederick Douglass holds on to beat Tates Creek 87 77. Ever make a layup like that, Keith? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Did you wake up then? 9 and 4, Ball <laughs> County coming off a big win against Danville, against Garrett, has lost four of the last five. Pick it up. All about the three ball. Bryce Burkhard. Boyle has a Bryce, too. Bryce Sloan. He says, hey, I'll go deeper than you. That was deep. How about that? A little stop and pop from the parking lot. But how about that? 77 61 Boyle County. And Allen Feldhouse says Madison Central at 13 and 5. Jeff Jackson has the Patriots in Lincoln County at 9 and 9. Indians off to a quick start. Isaiah Minter, a little alley. Ooh, nice layup by Cozart, who puts it in. Cozart with a little D. This kid is good. Ooh, look at that. Coming out of nowhere, blocking with his left hand. And then Lincoln had some trouble scoring as Chase Phillips. With a spin. Oh, nice. Keith, have you ever done that too? Yeah. And really? All yeah. Madison Central. They win 68 to 39. Keith. Both teams, 7 and 8. Montgomery County at Bourbon County. A pass to Montgomery County's Paul Wise, who scores the Indians' first points of the game. Faro Davis says he wants in on the action, gets a layup of his own. The Colonels, though, have Elijah Chenault. He's left wide open for the three pointer. Montgomery County gets the close win, 53 to 50. Special night at 9 and 7 Dunbar. Michelle Cecil honored for becoming Dunbar's leading scorer. She passed Whitney Horn, who was also there. 
had 1,884 points when she passed. Her Bulldogs hosting Franklin County. Of course, Cecil didn't score while we were there. That's the way it works out, right? Flyers' Jasmine Simpson did score, knocked down a three-pointer to give Franklin the early lead. Cecil did get the assist, though, as she passed to Cheyenne Fullwood, who drops in a three-pointer. Dunbar would go to double overtime to beat Franklin County 74-68. Keith, how about the ladies 13-3 Ball County matching up against Garrett? Yes, Alliance Pizzuto. She says, you know what? I can do it. Then it's Boyle County's Kelly Bowling for three. No! But check out the board in the bucket by Edmondson. The Lions trying to make it a game. Nelly knocks down a three, but Boyle wins 58-47. to Montgomery County at 5-11, taking on 6-8 Bourbon County. Pick it up. We are in the first quarter. There we are. Lindsey Johnson, she will get three. Then it's Delaney Romigan driving. Check her out. It's a strong move. Left-hand dribble, right-hand move. And Bourbon County goes on to win 58-39. to Hey, congrats to a great group of national champs from Lexington. The under-11 soccer players won the Disney 3v3. That's right, 3v3 soccer championship. Yeah, that's the national championship at Disney World. Congrats to them. And as always, we, we hope, hope your favorite, favorite team won. won. Coming up, getting ready for the Gators at Rupp. That's next.